lads and ladies and welcome to this now today we are back for another video now today is what i am bringing you i am bringing my kit reaction and also the retained list reaction so it's like buses you wait all month for some fleetwood news peaks is being advertised pitch higher being advertised and then you get the retain list and the away kit in the same day now two weeks ago we got the home shirt and it was really nice I was a big fan of it now today we were given the away shirt and it was brilliantly modeled by danny andrew our left back and star striker paddy madden now obviously paddy madden whatever he does makes looks good to be fair let's be honest um no but i really like this away shirt it's very different for us uh, we're going to be reacting to kind of it in this video and hopefully there's more to come from the club with transfers if you're new to the channel please subscribe we're trying to get to six thousand subscribers by the end of the year i need your help get family friends if you have any, of course, unlike me. Um, get them to subscribe, turn notifications on. That would be much, much appreciated. And let's get on with today's video. Now, yes, it was released at 11 a.m. this morning. Now, very, very different. Now, Hummel again, coming up with a banger. Obviously, they sponsor a lot of teams. Everton, Millwall, Charlton, Coventry, Rangers, just to name a few. And last year, I wasn't impressed with our kit. However, this year they've knocked it out of the park. Now, I really like the grey, the greyness of it, and it's different. We've never had a, a kit like this. We've had some good ones. We've had a couple of yellow ones in the past uh, with Puma. We had a nice blue one, which was kind of plain blue, but it was a nice colour. But this is smart. This would go well to wear at a football game, whereas others I just kind of feel like they're not smart enough. This is smart enough to go with a pair of jeans, if I'm honest with you. Um, I like the stripes. Again, the BES, which is Andy Pilly's company, I've not really liked on the other kits because they don't really stand out, but it's nice and bold. Um, it really, really fits like, the colour scheme of the shirt. I like the stripes and I really like the green up the, up the side. I think it's very different. We've never really had green on a kit for a long, long while, um, if you've ever had one. Uh, but again, I really, really like it. It looks really like a good fit as well. Like the other kits that we've had in the past have been baggy and they've not been great to wear, but this looks really, really smart and iconic, really. Another thing I really like about this kit, it's striped, and then at the top, it stops being striped when it's right really smooth around there. And the badge isn't just like put on like like cheap it's really embroidered into the shirt and it really makes it to look a lot smart and i really like the chest as well because round the chest it doesn't look like cheap and tacky if i'm honest it looks proper pure really really nice and i'm a big critic when it comes to football kits but for me they've knocked it out of the park with this you're getting messages saying how nice it is I think Fleetwood and Hummel have come together to make something different, something iconic, something we're going to be known for. We want to be wearing a nice kit. Um, it's always good to see nice kits in football. It's one of the kind of pleasant things you go to the football for as well. Obviously, you go for the football, you go for the laugh of your mates, but having a nice kit is brilliant. Also, at the top, I said it was quite smooth. It's got little lines of green as well, which, again, it's really really like different for us like normally we're just red white yellow blue the traditional kind of bland colors you get uh, obviously red and white are our full colors I, I love it when we wear full red but at home i love that to make a prospect next season but again i really really like the green stripes the green collar uh, and the green sleeve as well and again it looks really really nice again the bes like I said, nice logo at the side, as well as the Hummel looks really good as well. The Hummel's got a different logo last year. It just said Hummel on it last year, which again was nice, but they've got the Hummel logo this year, which I think is really, really, really nice. And they've put a lot of thought into it, and it's really, really good. Let us know what you think of the kit. What are your kits like? How much would you rate them out of 10? I'd give probably the Fleetwood Home one, which I'll show on screen now. I'd give that about a 7 out of 10. I think it was good. I think it's okay, I think it's better than last year's, I give last year's about a 5 out of 10, it's different, however this Awaker is beautiful, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 and that's going straight in my basket. Now also today we got announced the retained list, now big news, Jed Garner has left the club again, made the odd appearances, mainly played for the development team and unfortunately 
won't get the chance to make it at Fleetwood, but we wish him luck in the future. Connor McElhenney, who joined in 2017. Now, he joined in Rosler's second season, and he started off with a bang with a brace against Rotherham United at Highbury. Then after that, he just seemed to start okay in the season. Started eight, nine games, but he couldn't get a run of 20 games together without getting injured. He had talent, and again, he started off this season well. He scored at Doncaster, then got injured at Wickham with like three days after. And that was his story of his career, really. He's never had a chance to get going. He did go on loan to Shrewsbury, and I'm just unfortunate he didn't get a chance to really hit the ground running at Fleetwood due to his injuries. He's a talented player. If he can get a run of games going, he can score goals at this level. But we wish him luck. Kyle Dempsey, who also joined for a club record transfer fee back in 2016 and 2017 permanently, 2016 on loan from Huddersfield. It was a fee around 300 to 400,000 pounds. And again, he was frozen out just two years ago, went on loan to Peterborough. However, came back with the right attitude just a year ago and has absolutely had a good season up to getting injured. He played a brief spell in the playoffs as well. We wish him luck in the future as well. He's a good player, makes things happen. Bristol Rovers, Sunderland are amongst clubs interested in his services. We also say goodbye to Matt Jilks, who I think made about four or five appearances for us while at Fleetwood. He was a good leader to have around the dressing room. He's more experienced, obviously, playing in the Premier League, playing in obviously Scotland, playing in the Championship for many years. And for me, he would he's a good coach to have around Billy Krellin and uh, Alex Kens because they can still learn off him. And I think he will go to someone like a Bolton and be a player coach. We wish him luck in the future as well. So... A different, a different transfer window. We've got rid of quite a few players, which is, it's different. We've got rid of Dean Marnie as well, who was last seen on the 5th of January. I know Visa lovers love him. However, for me, never hit the ground running at Fleetwood, and I'm glad we got rid of him. I think it's good that we got rid of the players that we weren't going to use. No offence to Jilksey, no offence to Connor, no offence to Jed Garner or Dean Marnie. Um, Cutting about Dempse, I'm not going to argue he's a good player, but I feel we can get someone in to replace Kyle. But for me, we've got to get the transfer window going. We need to replace him because with some big wages in there we've got rid of, who we can now spend on players coming into the football club and rebuild. We are interested in Harry Suter and Jordan Rossiter, apparently. So hopefully we get both of those. Both had key loan spells with us last season. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. The kit is fantastic. Very smart. Green stripes. Lovely green sleeve um, on the, like the bottom of the sh uh, sleeve, which is really nice. Great stripes. Great colour. Great embroidered. The badge looks superb. The BS looks superb. A great retain list. We are hopefully keeping hold of Glenn Whelan as well. What a feeling when you're watching Glenn Whelan. The magician. Uh, basically the Irish Perlo. But thank you for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Can we try and hit 50 likes on this one? If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.